So my name is Aline Pezenti. I was a Sloan Fellows 18 uh, graduate student. Um, I was working with Anjali uh, at an independent study for farmers' economy and the usage of technology. So there is an ever-increasing need to invest in agriculture, and one of the biggest challenges for that is the credit access for affordable loans for farmers. And uh, we have been discussing with Anjali about how we can use technology to solve this issue and what is the design of this technology that we can um, uh, use for farmers uh, that they can have better access to credit. But not only that, how we can help the lenders to access those farmers which are mostly in remote areas and they lack data. So. We have been working with Anjali on thinking on this, uh, in this, these problems and also uh, restructuring the right questions that we should think about to find this, the proper solutions. We thought uh, it was more design uh, thinking and design of uh, thinking about the, the process and how is the clients and how are the, 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 the not the clients, but um, the farmers and the lenders' perspective with their lenses. So what are the, the main questions that they do while they are in the credit process, right? And what are the status quo today? What are the, f the failures of the, stat the status quo? And where we find the technologies that have a, a compelling user case to deliver solutions for lack of data and connection between farmers and lenders. So it was very uh, systematic approach that we have been noting and how we think of all those technologies and innovation and deploy this to, to, this, uh, to this problem. So I manage my time uh, with uh, weekly um, meetings with uh, Anjali for a period of time. We set up uh, very narrow deliverables and uh, during that process, we were iterating uh, with uh, some of the professors and uh, some of the, the resources that I needed. And I took the, the discipline to having that in my schedule so we could uh, deliver and have fruitful, fruitful discussions every meeting that we, we had together. And what I learned in this process with her is was how to, we systematically think how we make, um, we make the right questions, and from the right questions, we start to find the solutions which derives to the right questions, and where do we find the resources? And it's a system dynamic way of uh, doing, of formulating your, your, your problem uh, statement, which was uh, very helpful for me on, uh, on, on in, the, in this process of working uh, in the project. Angeli was super relevant to help us to think, okay, to solve this for this challenge, we need an expert in different areas. Who are the experts? And she connected us with the, those experts that eventually came up and helped us to contribute. And also she connected us with uh, uh, many entrepreneurs and also companies outside the scope of MIT. For example, um, she connected us with uh, a guy from India uh, from uh, one of the, the largest uh, uh, solar panel uh, companies, who also, um, in certain sense, is still in contact with us on thinking about contribution with Tata Center, who also will uh, contribute with uh, our research. I think they, that that's the environment that MIT brings to you. It's quite unique, right? this possibility that um, help us to connect with people from different backgrounds. Not only that, they are the experts in the, in the background, in the world. They're most renowned faculty members, scientists. They will add you different perspective. There is this ocean of, uh, of um, a think of different ideas, different perspectives that helps you to build up your own. This is something that was, is unique at MIT, uh, also the capacity of the connection, right? Because the world expands to you and they opens because you are at MIT. So there is nothing equal like that at all in, in any other place. I, all the, 
all the feedbacks that I was integrating through the connections that uh, we established through the process in this course were quite valuable. Actually, every feedback, every iteration shaped uh, somehow the process of what we are doing now. And um, that's the valuable thing of, uh, of this course, right? Is also to have the possibility to hear other opinions, not only if you stay on your own path, you're blind to what is new or outside, and that prevents you somehow to make innovation, which is not the case here. It's, you see so many different things sometimes that you never thought before, and that changes and that improves what you are doing. I guess the biggest challenge for in this process was is still um, having the discipline uh, to find the proper, the, the, having the discipline and the structure to find the solutions. Because there are, are so many elements, because you learn how to think and see the whole world and to try to grasp uh, the answers and in a systematic and organized way was for me a challenge in the beginning, but I, I learned how to navigate that eventually later. So it's a now a, um, it's an interesting process that you learn it how to deal with so many variables and make the and making the puzzles to deliver to you a whole uh, a clear and transparent picture. Well, uh, this project uh, one it, there is uh, two branches of that. One is a startup that I'm doing, um, which. We are already uh, creating the, uh, a fintech, which is exclusively dedicated to the agriculture market. Which it's the first in, its, um, in the market where we use data analytics and we designed the process uh, in this course to uh, improve and deliver better financial solutions to both lenders and farmers. So we allow them to have affordable loans. And on top of that, uh, there is also, because this is so unique and so new in the world, uh, we are doing a research with Anjali uh, and other professors, uh, senior faculty members at MIT with support from Tata Center as well to study the economic behavior of uh, farmers and lenders with more data. This data will help to solve for the problems of sustainable financing or, and economy inclusion. We don't know. So that's one of the investigations that we are doing. That's one of the, the next challenge. And again, some of the answers for, and, uh, that we are trying to find with the, for this question.